All right, thanks for watching and welcome to the Grand Hotel Payam, which is currently full, yet we'll be able to make room for you. That's our motto. Because suppose you have a hotel that's fully booked out, but suddenly you have a new customer who's very tired and wants to go to that hotel. No problem, you can still make room for the customer. How? For the first guest, tell them to move to room two. The second one, tell them to move to room three, etc., etc., and the nth guest, tell them to move to room n plus one. Okay. Then everything is full except for the first room, and you can simply put that passenger in the first room. And thereby, it's still fully booked out, yet you made some profit. And Mathematically, by the way, it shows that if you have a countably infinite set and you're adding another element, it's still countably infinite. And by the way, there's nothing special about one passenger. You could have two hotel guests, three hotel guests, or any finite number of hotel guests, and it still works. All right, but now what if we have a spicier situation? So what if suddenly you have a countably infinite bus of passengers coming. So a bus with countably infinitely many passengers. And they're all tired when from a long trip and want to go to this fully booked hotel. No problem. You can still make space for them simply by interlacing the guests. What does that mean? The first guest, tell them to stay here. The second guest, tell them to move to room three. The third guest, tell them to move to room six, or uh, room five, etc., etc. So every guest in the original room, they move to an odd numbered room. And now the other guests, you can simply put them in an even numbered room. So this goes to um, room two. So the first guest goes to room two, then room four, then room six, etc., etc. And again, mathematically, what this shows is that the union of two countably infinite sets is still countably infinite. And by the way, nothing special about one bus. You could do it for two buses, yeah, just by putting everyone in, in every third room. Yeah. And in fact, for finite many buses, that also works, which also shows that the union of finitely many countable infinite sets is still countably infinite. But now, what if we have a super spicy situation and you still have the fully booked out room, like this, but suddenly you had countably infinitely many buses with countably infinitely many passengers. So you have one bus, with like sad passengers, another bus with like meh passengers, very strict, and then other ones, excited passengers, etc. So here you have countably infinitely many buses. The cool thing is you can still accommodate them and this might be a technique you haven't seen before but it turns out the solution to this is prime numbers. Okay. Because what do you do? First of all, just to clean all the rooms, kick everyone out. So you still have this original passengers. Original hotel guests. And look. Those hotel guests, the original ones, put them in rooms that are powers of two. So the first guest goes in room two, the second guest goes in room four, and then room eight, etc., etc. So two, four, eight. For the first bus, put them in rooms that are powers of three. So this one goes in room three, this one goes in room nine, like I guess sad passenger, room nine, so three, 9, 27, etc., etc. This one, put them in rooms of multi, you know, powers of 5. So 5, 25, um, 125. And the next ones, put them in rooms of powers of 7. 
So in other words, the ijth member here, ijth member, put them in room pi to the j, okay, where pi is, is just the enumeration of uh, prime numbers. So pi, the sequence pi is 2, uh, 3, uh, 5, 7. Da, da, da. And then the nice thing is you can accommodate the passengers and also there is no clash because a power of 2 can never be a power of 3 because we chose prime numbers. So somehow it's quite interesting. You made infinite profit yet kind of the room, your hotel room is kind of almost empty, I would say, because not many numbers are powers of primes. They're more, com you know, more kind of purely composite numbers that way. Um, and again, mathematically, what it shows is that the countably infinite union of countably infinite sets is still countable. But of course, everything breaks down if you have uncountable sets, like a continuous bus. Yeah, that would be kind of weird. Yeah. And then the question is also, is there something between a uh, countably infinite bus and a continuous bus? Well, yes and no. It's called the continuum hypothesis, but that's for something else. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.